So currently we have maybe 10 records in our database, but what if we had 10,000 records? What if you tried to return 10,000 records at once? Your app would probably crash. That's why we have pagination. Pagination is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to make sure we don't return everything at once, and it's going to break everything into pages, kind of what, the way that pagination sounds. You are turning things into pages. But where it gets confusing is that we have this thing called skip and take. And a quick glance at skip and take, and you're probably thinking, what does skip and take mean? Why do I have to learn these things? But skip is just the way that sounds. You are going to skip the first two elements and you're going to take the rest of the elements. But you may be thinking, well, how does that create pagination? This is crazy. Well, take is going to do the exact opposite. Take is not going to skip, it's going to take. And when you combine skip and take together, you get magic. So you skip the first two and then you take the next just like this and you can plug in numbers and turn it into pagination. Isn't that amazing? So let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code and let's actually implement it. So first things first, we're going right back to the query object, just like before. You could totally put the pagination parameters directly in right here, but I'm not gonna do that because we are at like eight properties now and we can't add anymore. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go prop, I'm gonna set this to page number. We're gonna make this one. So by default, uh, if we don't put anything in there, it's just going to give us the first page. And we could, you could set this number, you could set the next number or the page size very low. So we'll have int, we'll have page size, but I'm thinking 20 and that should be enough. And if you need 20 more, uh, you could easily add the page number, but um, 20 is going to be perfect. We're not going to be showing more than 20 stocks on a page anyway. And if you really need it, go ahead, add a number two or add more to the page number. Okay. So last thing, this is going to be very simple. We're going to go inside of our repository and we're going to go back down to our get all and right below here, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to add what's called a skip number. Um, and this is very common. This is how you do the calculation for the pagination. We'll go query um, page number. We're going to go ahead, add a minus one because we don't want to add, because if we don't add that, it's going to be always one ahead of it. And then we're going to go query dot page size. And we're going to go down here. And instead of return await, we're going to go ahead, just tack this on. So we'll go stocks skip. We're going to, so this is where we're going to use our skip and our take. We're going to put our skip number in here. Then we're going to do our take. And this is where we're going to put our page size. So take whatever. So whenever we do pagination, we're going to uh, have a page size of, I think, what do we have like 20? So, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead, let's test it out. Go ahead, open Swagger. Let's go down to our stock. Got our symbol, we've got our sort by, and let's just test out the page number. So obviously, let's just leave page number blank and then let's set a page size of five. So zero, one, two, three, four. And let's set it, maybe we need to set it just a little bit lower. So let's set it to three. So we got one, two, three. Let's set, let's do four. One, two, three, four. And let's also check how many that we actually have. So let's go ahead, do the page size. We'll do page number. We'll just leave both of them blank and make sure that we're getting everything. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we are getting everything. That's pretty much it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.